Coastal World website is one of my favorite 3D websites. It has a beautiful low poly aesthetic with a vibrant color palette. I'm often asked how to recreate the whole website using 3JS and React 3 Fiber. Hi, welcome to 3D Snippets, where we explore 3D web development in bite-sized pieces. Today, we will focus on one technique used in Coastal World to create the beautiful aesthetics. Let's work in front of those two houses. What do you notice? Pay attention to our character, to the plants and the windows. They all have different levels of gradients, from yellow-orange to red on the character and a very subtle one on the windows. This is one of the key elements that make the world so unique and colorful. So how to create gradients in 3JS? There are many ways to do it, but in our case, is it coming from a texture? Is it a simple color but the scene lighting give us the impression of a gradient? Or is it a shader? You won't always have the answer and it can be a combination of all of these. But in our case, we can search the answer in the network tab of our browser. Reload the website and filter with .glb to look for the 3D models. The world items are hidden somehow, but the characters are not. Then if we filter on images, there are asset gradients and character texture that are interesting. By opening the character in Blender, we can see it has no material, which indicates us that they created with 3JS. If we load the image texture and look at the UVs, for example on the head vertex group, we can see how the colors are assigned to the model. Some are using a gradient, some are using a simple color. Now delete those files and do not use them in your project. We are going to learn how to reproduce this effect by ourselves. We will be using this royalty-free island model from Polypizza and I'm happy that the preview looks terrible because it will be a good exercise for us to make it look better. For the character, we will use that cute animated one from Quaternius. Now, the first thing we need is to prepare our texture. You can use any image editor you want. I'm going to use Figma because it's free, online and I like it. Create a new frame with a power of two size. I'm going to use 256 by 256. Then create rectangles and inside the fill color switch to gradient and adjust the colors. Repeat the process to create a palette of colors. You can also create solid color squares like Coastal World does. Once you're happy, export the image as PNG. Don't worry, thanks to Figma going back and forth to edit the colors is easy. Now our texture is ready, we need to load the models in Blender. Create a material with the new texture and start the process of UV mapping. I won't go into details here, but the idea is to select groups of faces, position your camera in front or on top, based on the gradient direction you want. Press U and project from view. Link in the description for a dedicated video tutorial on UV mapping for gradient textures. Once you have finished the process for all your models, export the whole scene as a GLB and use it in your project. I quickly created a new React 3 Fiber project with my starter template. Used gltfjsx to generate a React component from the GLB file, added some lights, shadows, and here is the final result. So, what do you think? We definitely could and should set up a better lighting system, but that would require a whole new episode. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this new video format. Please hit the like button to give some boost to the channel. Let me know what you think and if there are projects or techniques you would like me to cover in the next episodes. The comment section below is yours. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss the next 3D snippets. And if you want to continue your learning journey, discover my complete course React 3 Fiber, the ultimate guide to 3D web development or watch one of my free tutorials like this one, available here.